Hey guys, it's Mickey C, and welcome back to the 2016 Christmas events and Family Gather Quest for stuff. Earlier, I ended up getting 80s Gamer Brian, and you can actually see them walking a little bit to the left side there, so just about off the screen. And there they go. But I finally got the character, which is awesome, which means I can actually move on to week four. So let us jump into this with good old Chris Griffin. Let's see what we gotta do. If you're gonna insult me again, just so, go away. So, did your arcade skills work? Are the creatures leaving town? Uh, not exactly. I may have convinced them to stay longer. Damn it, Brian. Were you pushing timeshares on them? I told you when you went to that orientation, you'd be running not only your life, but mine too. I know, but I like being my own boss, and the properties are really nice. Here. Let me show you some of the literature. I think this could be a solid investment opportunity for you. Upgrade the portal. I've done it already, apparently. Well, it's official. The toys and video game characters are staying for good. How can you tell? By all the moving trucks and fat guys strapping on their back support belts. Although I must say, those belts do really help them look trimmer. It's like a working man's girdle. Looking hot, guys. By the way, do you notice the Nintendo glove there? Yeah, there was there was one of those things back in the day. At least I think it was from Nintendo. Jerome? I don't think I've really done a lot with you. What's up, fools? Sorry, Peter. The clam's now a toy-only bar. We don't serve your canned here. Heh <laughs> like in Star Wars. Oh, man. We could have really used you as Lando when we did all those episodes. Okay, before you throw me out, call me a slimy, double-crossing, no-good swindler. The holiday blues are here. I saw you when I clicked the clock in a previous episode, and I was like, what the hell is it? It was like a Santa cloud or something with the hat, see? Let, let me show you. Lois, Bonnie, and Bruce have caught the holiday blues. We have to recruit glee bears to spread the Christmas cheer and chase the clouds away to restore Koog's holiday spirit. So the glee bears are obviously a parody of, well, I don't think I need to say anything about that, but they're there. Earn a care package. Oh, we got a four hour quest. Okay, let's do that. Loop. There we go. Place Rupert in the cloud the cloud car. Place Rupert? Whoa! This is so cool! Car sharing is caring. Don't you be freaking timed. Don't you be a timer. Please don't be timed. Please don't be timed. Please don't be. Please don't be timed. Hooray! When I saw Rupert, I was thinking of the human Rupert. I won't get into that. But it appears I have enough for the candy caves. Not gonna tap it just yet. And rainbow stuffing. That's actually pretty... Pretty. It's very pretty. You get from the care package. So that's, of course, just by putting characters on the quests to... To get the rainbow stuffing, and of course you can go in the puppet theater, which I will look at afterwards. What is that supposed to be? A guitar pick? Magical triangles? Oh yeah, there's a triangle on the, on the stomach. I didn't even notice that. Get by curing Bonnie of the Holiday Blues, Bruce, and Lois. So, I'm assuming that they're kind of incapacitated for a while. Fluffy Clouds from the puppet theater. John Snowman? That's pretty funny. That's really, really funny. Angel of Death. That's a Game of Thrones reference, by the way. In case you're wondering about that. Galaxy Intruders Arcade Machine. Oh, uh, by the way, hold on. 270 uh, for Angel of Death. I assume it's just a, a, a death costume. We've also got Nutcracker Mystery Box. Let's check this out. We have got Heckling Hunting Hound. Blinky the Ghosts, two care packages, 14 beach balls, clams, rainbow, what the hell is this? 
I don't understand what this is for. It's for something, obviously. It's for some kind of drop. Stock, stocking stuffers, sorry, and three ghostly gifts. So there's not really a lot in here that's all appealing. I mean, Blinky the Goat is pretty cool. Uh, it's obviously a character, so if you could get that on the first try or the clams, pretty darn good luck. So there's that. We've also got... Who is this? Oh, we've got this as well. Hold on, I'll look at that afterwards. That's a character, obviously. Festive FPS Bunker. These are all from the Puppet Theater. Toy Block Fence. Oh god, it's it's going. Supersonic Loop the Loop. That is amazing. Obviously a Sonic the Hedgehog reference. My Little Reindeer Farm, which is obviously supposed to be like My Little Pony, maybe. And this is all from the previous week. But let me put this down. Portable Pac-Man. It's two clams. I never got a chance to do it in the previous videos. Oh, I thought maybe it was an NPC that kind of walked around and it just ate the things or whatever, but it doesn't do that, unfortunately. But anyway, let's look at the puppet theater. What do we get? Who are you? Black Jesus. In the nativity scene, all the rooms of the inn were blocked. It cost 300 of the candy canes, two of the pellets. Okay, that's how you get the rainbows. Via curing Bonnie, Bruce, and Lois of the Holiday Blues, or getting from the care packages, mystery box, or the premium route, Galaxy Introduce Machine. We've also got uh, two wreaths, it looks like. I don't know what they're for. Probably for Black Jesus. Cost five of the rainbows. Sandals, which are obviously for Black Jesus. Five of them. That is... Oh, that's cool. Christmas Herbert's house, so that's obviously a skin for that. These are the stuffing. Yeah, these are the stuffing for... Uh, who was it again? Rupert, that's who it was. And he drops two of them, so I can actually... I can do that, actually. I can put this down. In a second. And finally, we obviously got some... Uh, Oh, what is that game called? The thing where you shoot up? Ah, oh, crap, I can't remember what it's called. 180? That is a bunch of bull honky. I'm not getting you. That's for sure. But I guess we can put this down. Because we need it for the, the Rupert character, so we'll do this. And it is every four hours. Which is pretty awesome. I guess we could put it down. We might as well. But next on the list, we've got the care packages. Let me show you exactly which characters can drop these care packages. So we got Peaches, Brian, Kubert. And then if you want to go the premium route, Nutcracker as well as the death character. What is in the care package? Let's see. So we got the little Glee Bears. Remember, this is like the same pattern as the previous weeks. If you get the Glee Bears, then you can put them towards getting rid of the Holiday Blue Clouds. Who have infected, I guess that's not the best word to describe it, but they, yes, I guess they have in, infected them with their sadness, with the blues, with Bonnie, with a few of the other characters as well. Can't remember who they are off the top of my head, but what do you do, you clear them, and then I think, I think those drop the, the, the stuffing or the rainbows or something. It, they drop something, I can't remember what the heck it drops, but it drops something anyway. And then I guess that's pretty much it, so... Yeah, that's it. As I said, same pattern as the previous weeks for basically everything. It's just replacing things with new things, new drops, new characters, and I guess that's it. So let me know what you think of getting Rupert. That is really, really interesting. Again, I thought it was maybe human Rupert. We shall not speak of that character ever again. We've also got the other characters as well, like uh, Black Jesus as well in the Puppet Theater. And again, as I keep saying, make sure that you do. The main quest line to make sure you can move on to the final week. Holiday Blues. That's what they were called. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, please remember to like, comment, and share. Thanks for watching. My name is Casey, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye, guys.